checking account. Twenty. No. Yep. Twelve minus. We minus thirteen. We had thirty dollars, and we lost thirteen. So we have seventeen dollars left in the checking account. Okay. What about our fixed assets? We still got them. They're fixed. They're still the same as they were before. Nothing got broken. But they, they don't depreciate? Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Sorry, Vance. I was waiting for yeah. this. Yeah. They will depreciate, but we're not doing that in the lemonade stand exercise. <laughs> but you're right. Um, assets do depreciate, um, and that's uh, more advanced than we're doing right now. Um, so, and then what happens? We haven't, um, let's see, we haven't, we're not taking out any loans. So, what is our total, what are our total assets? Mm -hmm. $27. I think we're going to have to spend some money on marketing. What does this mean about our equity? Equity is what? It's the same as the asset. The liabilities plus equity is the same as the assets, right? This is also 27, right? So we still don't have any liabilities. That means this equity is now 27. You know what that means? We can't have four workers. That $10 that, $10 that you put in as an investor, you don't have $10 anymore. <clears throat> what do you have? If there's, let's say you're dividing it all equally among the four members. So it's 27 divided by four is six and something, right? Mm -hmm. So now the value of your investment is down to six dollars and something. Mm -hmm. 675? Less than 40. Less than 27. So it's, no, less than 10. Six, six right? Right, it's six dollars and something. Yeah. So each person's investment, each person put in ten dollars. And now, if we shut down this business, what would happen? Who can tell me what would happen if you shut down the business? The first thing that would happen is that you would sell these things. You'd sell the cooler, pitcher, and table, and you'd get, let's say, you'd get another ten dollars back. So you'd have twenty-seven dollars, right? And then you use that $27 to pay yourselves back. And you'd only get back six bucks on from your 10. So you will, you'd have lost some money. Mm -hmm. So what are you going to do? Are we going to quit or are we going to go forward? Go forward. We're going to go forward. It's a good thing we all put in $40, right? I mean, what would have happened if we had only put in $10? I mean, $5 a piece. We would have tanked the first week. So it's important to have enough cash when you first start out because it's common to have a loss. This is called a loss. That's why they call it a profit and loss statement. If, the, if your net income is positive, it's called a profit. If it's negative, it's called a loss. That's why they call it a profit and loss, right? And it's really common to have a loss your first week or month or year. Mm -hmm. So it's important to have enough cash so you can cover that initial loss and still go forward, okay? So, I heard somebody say, have a suggestion about what we do next week. Judy, what did you think we should do? Market. We should do some marketing, right? So, somebody's going to hire their kid brother to go down on the corner and hold a sign that says, Lemonade that way. Okay? Advertising. Yeah. It's going to be advertising. <laughs> We call that a selling expense, but it's advertising. So this is week number one. It's over. Now we're going to do week number two, okay? It's going to be in the next column over. Everybody with me? I already have the next column figured out. Oh, thank you. Okay, so now we're on the profit and loss side. Everybody with me? Yeah. So I'm going to say that we're going to spend, we're going to have, have the same number of people sitting
sitting at the table again, so we're going to have $12 in wages again. And I'm going to arbitrarily say that we're going to spend $7 on advertising. Okay? <laughs> And then, right? <coughs> it's a great sign. <laughs> well, we have to we have to pay him something if we're down the corner. Shake it around. He's really cute. You know how cute he is. And the second week, we made we made thirty-five bucks. Wow! Wow! He's really, he's really cute. That's the effect of doing some marketing. He's a really cute kid. <laughs> Um, the other thing was, since we had more sales, we had to run out to the store again because we spent eight dollars on lemons and sugar and cups again, but it wasn't enough, so we had to run out to the store, and we spent another three bucks. So now we have a total of eleven dollars we spent. So, if we had thirty-five dollars in sales and eleven dollars in cost of goods. What's our gross profit? 24. Is everybody putting that on their sheet? Mm -hmm. And if we had $24 in gross profit, and we spent $12 on wages and $7 on advertising, what's our net income? Um, what? Oh, mm -hmm. Nine five. Mm -hmm. Nine five. It should be nineteen, and our net profit is five. Oh yeah, right. Twenty-four minus nineteen. <laughs> minus nineteen. Sorry, you're right. Oh, I remember this from last year. I made the mistake, same mistake last year. So our net income is five bucks. Thank you, Rebecca. <laughs> Woohoo! We made a profit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, five bucks. 